Let's set the scene. You're in your home country with the crowd on your side and you are making everything. Then boom, the final putt drops and you are once again an LPGA Tour champion. Let's talk about what went down in the final day in Shanghai. I'm Hope Barnett and you're watching LPGA Now, presented by SurfPro. Let's get into it. Other players on the leaderboard put up a fight, but it just wasn't enough for Ronnie Yin's final round eight under. Uh, it's pretty amazing and uh, just like I said, be able to win at home um, in front of all the, all the family and friends. Um, it's just amazing. It's phenomenal to um, be able to do that and um, it's a pleasant week. It all started here with a birdie putt on the first hole. Oh, that joke, that work. Easy work for the champion. She then stepped up to the fifth hole fearless, or so it seemed. Down a little bit. And of course would go on to make the putt. Great. She only needed 26 putts on the day, and she won by six strokes. But Seyoung Kim was trying to catch her, but it just wouldn't be enough. She only had a one-shot lead when she made the turn, but then it was all gas and no brakes. The run started here on the 11th. The best of the three. She's done it too. Ronnie in. And continued on the 13th, where she would go on to birdie three consecutive holes. Ronnie threw it close on 14. The official here coming from the first cut does not have to worry about spin. Shot once again, great distance control. And then on 15, she made this tough putt look like a piece of cake. Another one came on 17, and then on the final hole of the day, she still showed no fear. <laughs> really? It was always going to happen, wasn't it? Ronnie in 63, 64 over the weekend, 25 under par. She is your 2024 Buick LPGA Shanghai champion. I can't think of a more fairy tale story than winning in your home country by six strokes in front of your friends and family. Next up, the LPGA heads to Korea, so stay tuned and come back right here to watch LPGA Now, presented by SurfPro.